Today, I'm telling you the story of my 1,033-day-old ecosphere. I started off by using some reused aqua soil, and from the start, I didn't intend for it to last this long. It was intended to be a six-month-old project, but I just let it go, and overall, it went well. So first, I began by cleaning the aqua soil, which, looking back, probably wasn't the best decision. It probably got rid of some nutrients that was not the best idea to get rid of those nutrients. I then scooped it all in as much as I had at that time and after realizing how little there was in there I came to the conclusion I needed more so I rinsed more. Then I poured the water in. Got to kick. It stirred up a lot of dirt, so I waited the ne to the next day for it to settle. And I'm now adding some other aquascape, which is the sticks and the rock. Then I went to one of my other setup tanks that was doing really well, and I trimmed some of the plants that were growing so well and so high that they were growing out of the water. This was a tank where, as you can see in the top right, I was having some baby snails grow out in there. I believe the plant I was cutting is some Ludwigia. I then got to planting it, and I originally tried to use tweezers, which didn't go too well so because the tweezers weren't long enough and that was before I bought a long pair of tweezers that I specifically made for aquascaping so I ended up just using my fingers. Now you can see that the plants are planted in and with that it did stir up a bit of the aqua soil so it is a little bit murky now but that's fine. Next I put in some moss that I thought looked really nice and I just kind of threw it in there, just placed it close to the wood so that with my efforts it would cling onto the wood. And I took it out of the tank that was really small and constructed soon. This is what it looked like. As you can see, it's still pretty murky, but all the plants are planted in and the stick was poking out of the water a bit. And so I was kind of hoping that either the wiggia would grow out the top of the water or the moss would climb out. I Next, added some snails, the ones I was propagating in my 10 gallon that I showed you earlier in the video. You can see the snail falling in there. Then I added some plastic wrap to seal off the ecosphere from the outside air. And I added on the lid to the mason jar and screwed it on there to seal everything off. And then I ripped away the excess just for a nicer, cleaner look. Now, here is the updated version, 551 days later. As you can see, the, Lod the Lodwigia started growing out the top like I wanted, and it started rooting really well in the aqua soil down below. But, something that I was not super fond of was the algae growing around the glass. And it wasn't the worst, but I felt like somewhere down the road, the moss would choke out everything else, which I didn't really want to happen either. This is what it looks like in its wholeness, and as you can see, the plastic wrap is off of the top, but that's because it only came off like a week before I did this update. So, I will try and put that on later. My solution to dealing with the algae was adding more snails, because the snails I added earlier outgrew this, so I had to move them out because they were apple snails. So, I then added in bladder snails which is much more size accommodating for this small jar, and I can keep them in there, and I decided, decided to add even more. So in total, I added about 15, and then I put on the plastic wrap, 
to reseal up the ecosystem. Until next time. Now this is what it looks like in current day on day 1033. As you can see, everything looks pretty brown and dead. And in part, some of it is dead. But also the light I was using to shine in is pretty on the yellow hue side. But there's still some live strands of moss that you can see peeking through. As you can see, I have some trimmings of pothos growing out the top of it, and they're doing well, and they're rooting, and it's able to suck out some of the nutrients to prevent algae. Thank you for coming along for this journey, and once it gets to three years, there'll be an update. <laughs>